This is the farm that harvests almost everything, from the howling wind to the solar panels that sit on the roof that delivers the rainwater that's turned into hydrogen. This is it. <laughs> and all that means that today Andrew spent next to nothing powering his farm in Cheshire. The motive is to be out of the hands of the big electric companies, really, and uh, it's a financial motive, but um, the being, green... Being green is just another bit of it that's a bonus. The, the green credentials come with it, yeah. yeah. His vehicles are still diesel, there's plastic around his bales, but he's doing more than most to produce his beef in a more sustainable way. All that uncertainty for the past three years around a potential no-deal Brexit has hurt British farming. And this agriculture bill is about trying to heal some of that and show to farmers how their food production, food standards and landscape management are integral to the future of British agriculture. The government has now pledged £3.4 billion to keep level with what we had from the EU's common agricultural policy. But instead of paying farmers just to farm, they'll be rewarded for protecting land, water and air, supporting plants or wildlife and maintaining landscapes. And farmers will have seven years to adjust to the new scheme. Every one of them relies on their soil. This bill marks it out as vital to our environmental strategy. Soil is absolutely key to tackling the climate crisis that we face. So soil holds three times more carbon than the atmosphere, uh, but we have been losing that carbon at an alarming rate due to intensive farming practices uh, degrading the soil, uh, and we haven't been uh, returning organic matter to the soil in the way that we need to. 